feeling at a loss what to put on your homepage? In this video, I'm going to show you what I did to change my fuddy duddy homepage to one that converts. As a busy musician, entrepreneur, my homepage was neglected for maybe three years. <laughs> so it's about time to transform it. If you're looking for ideas on how to transform your personal homepage, then you may find a few gems in this video. Hi, I'm Heather Kay. I help female entrepreneurs leverage their unique strengths to build a life they love. So let's get into it. The website I'm going to use today as an example is my Heather K violin websites. I've been teaching for over 20 years and teaching online for 11, 12 years. So I've always had to have a website. I built my first website when I had my contracting business back in Wisconsin in roughly around 2002. And so I've had a little bit of experience building websites. I also worked as a website designer part time after the university. So I learned a few tricks of the trade. Obviously things have changed in the last 20 years, but it gave me confidence to build my own websites. So this is the new website for Heather K. Violin. But before I break down exactly how I created this homepage, I want to take you to the old website. Okay, so this is my old homepage that I hadn't changed for about three years. Maybe slight updates here and there with different courses, but roughly it remained the same due to the fact that I did not have much time or uh, let's rephrase that and say that I felt my time spent in other places was more valuable than updating my homepage and my website. So this is what it looked like for like three years. This is a picture of me playing with the Yamble Chamber Orchestra. So I use this professional picture so people get to know me and how I look <laughs> with the violin. I start off with, are you an adult violinist that's not satisfied with your, and I just simply list the different aspects of violin playing that I can absolutely transform for any violinist of all levels. I go on to just say, if you know deep down that you need to set aside time to fix these things, but you're just playing piece after piece with your teacher, then maybe it's time to pop in for some sessions. So I just kind of introduce myself, allow me to diagnose and give you the exact steps to move forward. I'll say right now, this is kind of like the first mistake I would say I made on this homepage. <laughs> Uh, and that's having a call to action in two different places. So I have here, if they want to book a lesson, to go right in and book a lesson, and it's pretty small. So it doesn't pop out on the page, like, okay, this is the call to action. And then below that, I have another call to action. In case you're not ready to get into private sessions with me, you can get my get in shape practice checklist and group workshop announcements. So I have that call to action there. So I would say that's rather big mistake <laughs> here. And then it just kind of shows my different uh, blog posts that I have and it goes on a rotation, which I did keep that in the new site. And then here I just have, you know, a click to the blog. So it's really pretty simple. I just updated this with different courses that I had running and that was my homepage. Let's go to my new homepage. It just has a lot cleaner look. It has a total different energy. I have a picture of myself with a super big smile <laughs> and this is actually a selfie. It's not a professional photo, just one that I took for a video. And I thought it just really captured my energy of how I am personally. And also when I teach the energy that I hope I'm bringing to my sessions for my clients. So with this, template of the homepage, I do want to let you know that I did follow Wes McDowell's video. Why is this the perfect homepage? I will link to his video below so you can use it. Uh, I took a lot of his suggestions on how to organize this homepage and the flow of the homepage. So I took some things that he said, and I implemented them. And then there are some things that I added to, and I have already received new clients from this homepage. So I would say that it is converting and it's bringing in clients that I 
will be able to help and that want to work with what I have to offer. So I'm really excited to show you um, how this is broken down. So as Wes McDowell said, this top part is what we call the hero section. And what we need in this top part is a headline and a sub headline, a call to action. And then I have a few examples here. So we're going to walk through every single aspect of this. Remember, it's super important that when people come to your web page, they understand what your business is and how you can help them. Plus, what is the next step to your service or product? So for example, here I have confidently play the violin with ease and joy. That's the result I can give violins that work with me. And that's what we have in the headline. So the sub headline is by building a balanced foundation for best results. If I were to give another example of this, as I work with a violinist who gives baby music classes online, an example for her website could be nourish your baby's development holistically as a headline. And then the sub headline would be with musical baby classes or with online musical baby classes. And then a clear call to action for your viewer to know what is that next step. So one thing that I did is created a new call to action, one that I have never offered before, kind of as a testing ground, and that is to book a placement consultation. Now, this is not a free placement consultation. I have done that in the past, like about 10 years ago, when I first was working online, it was suggested to me to do free calls. But what I found out with those free calls, I got people that were just looking for a free violin lesson and were not serious, dedicated adult violinists that were ready to invest in their violin journey for transformation. So I stopped those free sessions probably within six months to a year because I saw that they were not converting into full-time clients. And I chose to use my website as a place to have people book a lesson or get a freebie that can help them in their violent journey in exchange for their email address. Your call to action will be determined by what season you are in your business. Are you wanting to gain visibility? Are you needing to gr uh, grow your email list? Are you taking in clients? Do you have an online course that you're presenting? So the call to action can vary. And it's not something that you have to keep for months at a time or years at a time on your website, you can rotate them out and kind of give them testing grounds. <laughs> uh, and it's also good, you know, for maybe three months of the year to build your email list from something specifically on your website, perhaps, you know, three months before you're launching a course to have a funnel that you're creating to get people into to, to enroll in your course. For me right now in the season that I'm in, in this specific business, I chose to do this book, a placement consultation, which seems to be converting quite well. So I'm very happy with that. And then underneath your call to action, just list a few examples of how you can help your clients. So I have here left-hand setup, yielding consistent intonation and effortless vibrato. That's pretty powerful. Right-hand setup resulting in gorgeous tone and effortless bow technique playing with musical expression, you have only dreamt about but never achieved, effortlessly playing in seven positions with highly developed shifting accuracy. Those are some pretty bold statements that this is how I help the violinists that are working with me. So as you're building your hero section, you want to just be sure that your message it comes across as who you help, how you help, and how they can get your help. So we have the headline, the sub headline, the call to action, and a few bullet points underneath that, plus a wonderful picture of a happy customer, a happy end result, or you in your element so that people can get to know you. This, really, this picture really depends on what services you're providing and 
how you want your clients to feel <laughs> when they come to your website. So then we come to the next section, which is as Wes McDowell calls the problem solution section. In this section, we're listing out kind of exactly what it sounds like, the problem and the solution. This section consists of, again, another headline, a video, which is not 100% obligatory, but you will find that you have better conversions if you have a video on your page. It helps people remember who you are and your message. Plus, they get to know your energy from that video. <laughs> So in this video, I'm actually teaching uh, slightly <laughs> um, how to improve the four main blocks that I see in violin playing. I present the four main blocks and show some very small tips to help get past those four main blocks. You want to keep this video pretty short. I would say not more than six minutes because you don't want to bore your viewers or have them hop off your homepage. When you're making this video, you want to have good lighting, good sound, and to present yourself in a way that you'd like people to see you in your element. And in this text here, we state out the problem that your clients are experiencing problem or problems. And you want to get into the emotional side of your client. So not just factual, okay, this, 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 and this, but how they're feeling with these problems. So I start off with your heart hurts every time you play an out of tune note. Shifting to higher positions causes anxiety before the shift, followed by despair, the note was out of tune yet again. So that's pretty powerful. Heart hurting, despair, and anxiety. That really is getting on to the pain point of a violinist that has such a deep desire to improve, but doesn't understand how. Then underneath that, I go into a little bit more of pain and the problem, and then the solution. So you are worthy and deserving a proper foundational training to support your desired results. It's time to go deep and transform the left and right sides of your body to support the violin journey you truly wish to build. It's time to build your foundation on brick and not shifty sand. Here again, I give kind of like, what is the service that I provide? Heather is an expert in your field and specifically provides professional violin lessons for adults. This is also um, the key word for this page or the key word phrase, professional violin lessons for adults. And then what I've done here underneath that is I've given three benefits from working with me, developing effortless vibrato, gorgeous tone and position fluency. So this is tying yet again to what I stated even at the very beginning of this page in the hero section, if you remember, we have uh, effortless vibrato, gorgeous tone, which is tied in with this musical expression, and then effortlessly playing in seven positions. Those three themes are followed through on here and what where people can go if that's where they want to be funneled into. So if somebody really wants to fix their vibrato, I give the steps on how to do that. If they want to fix their tone. Again, I give them steps on how to do that and position fluency steps on how to do that. This all does tie into that book, a placement consultation. Step one, get your left hand checked out by Heather before delving into the world of vibrato. So this would be the consultation. Get your left hand and right hand diagnosed by Heather. Again, a consultation. That way, violinists can come to the site and know that, all right, if I get diagnosed, I'll, I'll know exactly where to get placed. So that call to action is pretty strong. Then what you want to do is have, after these three benefits of what you're offering, you want to have testimonials. Now, I have this on a rotating testimonial grid that viewers can read and they can sift through so that they have control of the speed of the reading and also if they want to read another testimonial. I would suggest putting testimonials in here, obviously, of clients that you have worked with personally, perhaps clients of your online courses, and if you have any digital products that you offer, to also have testimonials of those digital products. So you'd have a variety of testimonials here. Now, what I did underneath that is I just wanted to make sure that people and viewers know what my services are and how to get to them. Again, I have 
my keyword and the header pro violin lessons for adults. And I have the lower price point set up first. So that's the digital downloads. And I have it very easy. They can click here to get, get the practice eBooks. Now that I think about it, I may change the name of this not to be digital downloads. I may use that as a sub headline and use this as exercise books or something. So it doesn't scare people away. Digital downloads with that, um, but more uh, personable violin practice eBooks. I think it'd be better and underneath that digital download. So that's one thing I'd change. Then I also have my online programs here. So I have different programs, courses. And again, I put pro violin lessons for adults 24 seven, study on your own time with Heather's signature online courses, click here to learn more. And then private sessions. Underneath that, it's good to have that call to action in two different places on your homepage at the top. And then if people are still scrolling down and they see these things that they like, then they'll click on that, that call to action so that they have those next steps. Now, if you have a blog, you do want to have on your homepage, you know, somewhere to direct people to your blog. You can easily put it in your navigation up here blog. But as I, I personally am a very visual person and think that it adds to the website that people can see these different um, blog posts. I do have them again here on the bottom of the page that people can get into some immediate reading if they desire. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below what videos you would like to see on this channel to help you build your online biz. Sending you tons of love and light and high vibe homepages. Ciao.